Hi everyone, I'm Dhruv. I'm Nanan. I'm Hazik. I'm Akanksha. And I'm Janvi. And today we're going to be talking about two very important topics. Firstly, balancing health with studies and uh, the post-exam transition, dealing with the new life that you're suddenly moving into. So we'll start off with the first part, that is uh, balancing health in studies. The most important thing during your preparation, in my opinion, is your physical and mental health. You need to ensure that you're keeping your your mental, you're keeping yourself sane. You're not taking too much stress, too much pressure, because that's what's going to destroy you if you do. This is not a difficult exam. Neat exam, major difficulty that comes from the competition, not from the syllabus. And if you're preparing, if you're dedicatedly doing what you need to do, you'll be fine. But the second you start taking pressure on yourself, that I have to talk to you, 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 then your performance automatically goes down because a simple mistake becomes a huge thing in your head. And physical health also remains very important because this is a stressful time and unless you ensure that your body is equipped to handle it and the things that will come after because NDBS is much much more stressful than NEAT is. So you need to ensure that you're well equipped physically to handle all the stresses and keeping your, you're keeping yourself healthy. Uh, and also like most of the people you might be in hostels so you should be very careful about like what you eat inside hostel or outside so because like sahi time pe sahi health on it's very important kya pata like need ke exam ke time pe like uh, there is some upar niche hua aapki health mein so that will cost you much much more so uh, in addition to that like you should talk to your friends aapki preparation during your preparation you might have three or four close friends with whom you have to talk about it. You should discuss not only about studies, but also other stuff as well. Like for example, uh, uh, stress, uh, or you have to go outside with your friends. Or for example, if you have friend ko stress with someone, you have stress with others, you can talk and you can you know, relieve it easily. And I think there is a very important role of parents. Ka bhi a hai because for me to handle health and studies, not to be very honest because when I'm focused on one thing so I'm going to the rest of the things so then I used to put it on my parents like I would tell them that you can tell me so they'll uh, like once in a week they'll tell me that they fruits or they'll themselves order that they'll dry fruits and all this so if you can't handle it yourself then you can tell your parents that you can do it so they'll happily do it right and maybe uh, have your friends around uh, like some friends who will positively you know, motivate you that you can study with them when you're demotivated maybe you can have a quiz with them so at at times you you must have those friends jinke sath tum kabhi bhi kuch bhi discuss kar sakte ho and also parents ka support system so iske sath you can balance things out if you're not able to do it on your own now one more very important thing that um, is very easy to forget while you're preparing for neat is that your journey does not end at that exam you have your entire mbbs to go and as he said that neat is not a difficult exam it's just an exam that requires consistency and that is the basis of surviving in mbbs as well so the habits that you um, develop during your 11th and 12th are also what carry on to your college life. So you need to learn how to handle the pressure, the stress at that stage itself because you have a lot of us ha do have comfort, a lot of us were at home and um, we have people, we had people taking care of us and if there, if in that area we could not you know take care of ourselves and mental health and our body it will be a lot harder once we do enter MBBS. I think it's uh, people tend to forget that one hour of, lo of lost sleep before the exam costs a lot more than whatever one hour of extra studies before the exam can ever possibly give you. So I think in the in the sort in the proverbial, proverbial rat race people tend to forget uh, kind of get their priorities mixed up and we forget or we don't realize about the impact that our health physical and mental has on us. So I think with the study, it's important that you keep your attention that the health of your health is As Akanksha said, if you can't do it yourself, you can always ask someone else to help you out with that. Because if someone externally says it, it's more hit than if you are telling yourself. If you're telling yourself, you might think you're making excuses not to study or something. But if someone else tells you, you've you tend to, especially if it's someone like your parents, then you'll you have a much greater chance of listening to what they say. So keep your priorities straight because studies can, no matter how much you study, it can all be, it can all come crumbling down if your health is not good on the day of the exam. So I think it's important that people keep that in mind. Now we'll start with the second topic, adjusting to the post neat life. I mean, for me, it was an amazing experience. It was a whirlwind. Neat got over and then 
I started traveling with my family. I did a lot of time pass with my friends. I went for the IBO and like just did a lot of stuff. You get unbelievable amount of free time. So like you're completely free to do whatever you want and it's a lot of fun. And then you start college and college is even more fun. <laughs> there's always something going on and the portion like there's a lot more to study but it's fun. It's interesting. And most of us don't study that much, but it's <laughs> it's a nice thing. It's a very nice life. Uh, work life balance is something that I think is that's a lesson most of us learn the hard way after mm -hmm. we're done with NEET because in the time after NEET you realize exactly how much you sort of ravaged your body and mind during the last two years or more. So it's perfectly okay to take that uh, you know downtime to yourself. Even it, you'll easily get a couple of months post NEET. Uh, result, kele wait karna and counseling and all included. So you will easily get time. Take that time off for yourself. Do the things that you used to tell yourself. Ki exam khatam hone ke baad karenge. You know, you should maintain a list of all those things. I remember for one exam, I actually had stuck a list of that on my uh, uh, cupboard. How many shows did you do? <laughs> I did. I tore the paper out <laughs> <laughs> after my holiday period. There was one thing: play a video game. I did that. The other side, <laughs> <couldn't. laughs> but uh, it's it keep something like that because it gives you something to look forward to also during the exam. And one more thing I feel is that aside from studies, in a lot of other areas, your growth tends to be a little stunted during those two years simply because you don't have the time and resources to devote to that. So. There's so many ways in which you can and you have to develop yourself so that you become not just a good professional but a good and capable person as well. So I think it's important that you realize that there are so many areas of growth for you not just in studies but a myriad of them outside of academics and so that I guess that would sort of be the two things I would want to tell you. One is that it's okay to take downtime, and the second is understand that there are so many other ways in which you can grow. For me, after NEET, yeah, a lot of things changed because it's not so free time hai that you are, you know, like overwhelmed. Ki kya kar sakte hai. So I catched up on all my, you know, web series and movie, which was lacking. Tha, so I watched everything. So it can be like, it can vary for everyone. Sab ke liye kuch -kuch ho sakte kisi liye, kisi ke liye it can be playing video games or anything like that. And you can do whatever you want to. And literally, there is nothing right or wrong in whatever you do after NEET. Because tab tak to, it's just work, work, work. And as Mrinal pointed out, ki baad mein it's a balance. And it's not necessary that you have to do For me, I didn't know what work life balance is at all. But down the line, you will learn. And if you have to do it, you will learn. At the end, you will learn. So just go with the flow and just do it. You will do it. And try to be active in every other thing also. If you are not able to try to be thoda, 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 karke try to be more involved, ho jai, talking to more people. So that you will end up developing that balance and then everything goes like properly. So it will happen, you don't need to take stress hai, and bas, that's it. I remember um, the night I slept after my NEET exam got over, I woke up without an alarm. <laughs> and it had been so long since I had been able to do that. And the next few months were just that. <laughs> Me being able to do anything without having to create a schedule, without having to put any sort of time constraints on myself. And that's when it hits you that that is what you've been doing for the last two years. You've been trying to be extremely productive the entire time. So that period is, it's one that I remember really well. I went on trips, I did nothing to be honest. I, did, I, I just, I had the ability to do whatever I wanted to and I was not very productive. Even if that was nothing. <laughs> Even if that was nothing. But the ability to do nothing is the, it's the best oh, yes. ability. It, that was also hard to get used to because you're so used to doing something all the time. Yeah. But that was a very nice time and after that the results came out and then it just got better. Like if I remember the night just after the exam, I could not sleep properly because <laughs> I had checked the answer key and I was getting good marks. <laughs> so, so yeah. And after that, like honestly, from the day of NEET exam till I joined college, I didn't did anything like special or uh, productive. So I was like just wasting time. But yeah, like I feel good. After wasting time, because <laughs> that's the time when you're, you, you're absolutely free. Like, You've earned it. Haan, koi earned it. Ko nahi hai, tumhare mind mein kuch nahi hai ki, like kuch karna hai mujhe. Like that was the best time. So, college ke baad, I realized many things 
लाइक काफ़ी ज़्यादा चेंज हुआ लाइक यू गेट फ्रीडम इन कॉलेज और फिर लाइक कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स कॉलेज में मैंने क्या सीखा लाइक यू नीड टू मेक गुड फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज दीज आर द पीपल विद होम यूज बी फॉर सो मैनी ईयर्स और इवन लाइफ टाइम विद सम एंड ऑल्सो लाइक आपके कॉलेज में यू हैव मैनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ यू शुड पार्टिसिपेट इन ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्टफ या आपकी हॉबी यू शुड कंटिन्यू और दैट बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ सीनियर्स फॉर डूइंग सेम एंड बेटर दैन यू ऑल्सो and at last i have mentioned that don't forget to study in college <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so i hope ki all this helped you a lot and maybe it will help you somewhere down the line so with this best of luck and just give you 100% best of luck